Sometimes I forget stuff. Okay, I got my sound, I got my camera, I got my teleprompter, I got... I forget, glasses. Got my glasses, I think I got everything. As you get older, you tend to forget things, right? This is just part of the deal, but... If only there were a way that I could counteract that, like maybe with a naturally occurring substance that wasn't a drug, but maybe like a supplement that was marketed to me in maybe pill form. Gosh, if only that existed. Can a protein originally found in a jellyfish improve your memory? Researchers have discovered a protein that actually supports healthier brain function. For support of healthier brain function, a sharper mind and clearer thinking, try Privagen. Oh my gosh! Come on, you guys. An ingredient from jellyfish that's gonna help my brain be healthier? Is this real? I don't... I don't think it is. Hey there, Brainy Nerd fam. Thanks for watching Uno Dose of Trace today. In the Victorian era, when America might have been great, any Johnny Nobody could mix up an elixir of coal ash and eel farts used in the Far East for centuries. But what ails you? This will cure you, Johnny Nobody says. But today, instead of hucksters using foreign cities or far off lands to entice consumers, the language of science has been co-opted. Pseudoscience is used literally everywhere to convince people of all sorts of claims. We see it in politics, infotainment news, advertising. This dates back centuries, but before you'd never know if someone was lying to you until you bought their product. But today we can actually look at research. There are jellyfish involved here. I hate jellyfish. They freak me out, but I went and got the B-roll for you nerd fam because that's how much I love you. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay. The key ingredient in this compound Prevagen is from jellyfish. It's called a poaquorin, and it comes from the Aquaria Victoria. It's a crystal jellyfish. It's a calcium binding protein. It's one of two proteins that help the jellyfish glow or fluoresce. And actually the other protein in 2008 won the Nobel Prize for a guy, but it doesn't matter. It just sounds fancy, right? That's how easy it is to speak science and get people to trust you with science words. Be vigilant. Anyway. The company who creates the substance, Quincy Biosciences, claims that it was proven to work in clinical trials on memory problems associated with aging, and that it would make your brain healthy. How exactly does one determine if a brain is healthy, Quince? What specific factor equals brain health, huh? Versus not brain health? Hmm? Which one? They say double-blind clinical studies prove their claims, but when you read studies like this one with 218 people from Wisconsin, you see that it was done by Quincy Biosciences. It also wasn't peer-reviewed, and they just posted it to their website. Another was published in the back pages of a journal, which is scientists saying, yo, this looks interesting, not looking for veracity or truthiness. Will this help your brain? I mean, no one will actually know unless Quincy runs a large-scale test on humans. Yeah, sorry. Steven Salzberg at Forbes looked into this story in 2015 and found most claims about it helping neurons were from mice or experiments done in petri dishes. In fact, this compound is eaten through the mouth and it's absorbed into the bloodstream in the gut. And there's this thing called the blood-brain barrier. It's a thick set of cells in the walls of the blood vessels stripping through the brain. And apoacorin can't get through them in humans, only in dogs. <laughs> the company's been sued multiple times. Class actions, the New York State Attorney General, the Federal Trade Commission, the FDA, they're all pretty ticked off. See, the company, Quincy Biosciences, calls it a dietary supplement. They do this to avoid regulation, but we don't typically eat a poacorin, and this one's synthetic anyway, so what would a synthetic jellyfish protein be supplementing in our diet exactly, QB? Because the FDA doesn't regulate dietary supplements. The supplements aisle, it, it looks like medicine, but it is not. No one is checking the claims made by the stuff in that aisle, so be careful there. Damn it. The 19th century huckster culture might seem like a long time ago, but it's just hiding at your local grocer or corporate owned pharmacy store where they can make money off of you. One last thing, people do take lots of different compounds for memory issues like ginkgo biloba. I used to drink Sobe back in high school and for wisdom, <laughs> didn't seem to really work. But sorry to disappoint, ginkgo biloba has been studied and doesn't seem to do anything versus placebo. Neither does vitamin B12. Vitamin E is promising, but can be dangerous when overdosed, so don't just go to town. Final point though, is this real? No one knows. There's no regulation, no peer reviewed studies. More research is gonna be needed on far more people before this drug could even be considered effective. Yes, they're calling it an unregulated drug. Look, memory problems as we get older are completely normal. 
people forget things. There's a lot knocking around in here. You probably still remember your best friend's phone number or I am name or email, depending on how old you are, but you should be aware, like anything else in the human body, you have to exercise your brain. You gotta learn things, you gotta have novel experiences, get outside, do stuff, jump, run, be. Your brain will thank you for it. If you wanna keep learning, join the Nerd Fam. Click the subscribe button, it is right there. Here's all the times I messed up in this video. While you laugh, please Ow. join my Patreon. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on I Twitter. I myself in the eye. Ow, my mustache pulls in my face. Please share it with your friends. That was awesome. Y'all are great. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Uno Dose of Trace.